Regulators, mount up. Well, it's Friday morning, buddy, and it's freezing ass. It was sunny and bright when I came it's to work. Sunny and bright, but about it's 10, cloudy and gloomy. Miles now. that way. Do you think it's gonna snow today, dude, in Dallas, Texas? No. It snowed the other morning, though, bud. That's true. Well, you see what I'm wearing, bud. Okay. I got the nasty overalls on, and uh, it's cold out. If you see me wearing these, it's cold. But Mr. Macho Man over there, Junior, doesn't need them. Second Chance Junior's cool. Oh, Just wow. T-shirt and this, dude. But what if we run out of kerosene? Woo! Did you unlock the shop yet? Dude. Have you unlocked the shop? Uh oh. -uh. What's Bruno over there doing? Sleeping with his head hanging over, just going like, boo. Well, let's get on Larry's car because our buddy Larry's counting on us, California Larry. <sighs> okay. We got the trunk done. What are we working on now? Front hood. That was an all day job on that, wasn't it, amigo? But you know what? Got it done. It's done, second chance. It's done. So last chance, Pete. Second chance, Junior, to the rescue, right? Let's get her done, bud. Okay, what do we got here, buddy? What's going on? Making Tell me. Making brackets. Making brackets. Brackets for what? Uh, extractors. Extractors? Oh, whatever they're called. What are they called, bud? Contractors, extractors. Uh, actuators? Actuators, okay. You said you had nightmares of actuators last night. You can't even remember the fucking name of them? I know it, man. That's all we've been known. Okay, what we're doing here... Follow my lead on the talking, bud. Listen to what I'm saying up here now, see? I'm talking, so that means look at me. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna talk about this. Okay. Now I'm talking up here, down here. Okay, use the zoom, in and out when I do something. If you wanna be a camera guy at uh, Southwest Rod Custom, you need to learn how to do it. Now, what I did is I took some uh, pretty thick steel there. I don't know what that would be, probably about eighth inch, huh? Six, three sixteenths. And I made me a bracket. Now, if you look over here, I was, I drawed out kind of a diagram of what we're doing because that's where our pivot point's gonna be. Can you zoom in on that, Junior, and show everybody? But since this is actually a big, bulky, heavy hood, I went ahead and made it a little bit longer on the top, see? So we're starting out here. You see what I'm saying? So that'll give it more, uh, pre more uh, push and pull sturdiness power on the top there. So then I came over here, over here with the camera. There you go, camera guy. Junior second chance guy. I went ahead and took my plasma cutter. Now, we did cut these with our chop saw over here. Because what you see in this area, zoom the camera around when I say that. What you see in this area right here and over here, watch my hands over here, bud. I went over here, and now come on over here. Let me show you this one. This is Southwest Rod Custom, Pete's Body Shop, Pete's, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, last chance Pete, machine shop. That's all it takes. It takes a hammer and a block. Come on over here, bud. There you go. Okay. A little ingenuity with Junior. All right. Got himself a little bend going there with his hammer and his block. Okay. My friend Pete came over here and took the plasma cutter, cut out some, uh, you know, little notches, use my noggin here a little bit, my brain. And that's what we came up with, right there, bud. Right there. That's the start of a new beginning, which will become the end. Right. And a little bit of cash in Pete's pocket, a couple food stamps in Junior's pocket, and we all be happy. So, 
We got the bracket, the junior bat, if you get a good look at that angle. Okay, looks like a boat. So, it's real important on a situation like this that you use sturdy stock my, uh, heavy duty steel. Because that's a lot of weight that you're moving around. And that's actually the actuators, when we install that, if you come over here, me and Junior, a second chance decided we ought to test out the trunk. This isn't going to need a lock anymore. See? Okay, because the actuators are actually sucking that down to lock the trunk. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So when you come up here to the hood, okay, that's going to be the same situation on our hood. But when the hood is closed, okay, the actuators will be sucking it down and holding it so it'll give it a nice clean finish. You don't have locks everywhere, blah, blah, blah. You reach in here and push the button and it opens up. You reach in there and push it again and it closes. Okay? Kind of like a little baby swing, bud. Okay? Now, what I got to do next is, of course, all the steel that we're using on this, I'm just going to let you know, okay, is very thick and very, very sturdy. Okay? Am I right? Okay? If you plan on making it out of something like this, where's that, bud? Right there, my friend. Now look at the difference, okay, because this is what Second Chance wanted to use. And there's Second Chance, and there's... 13. Okay. No, Last Chance, me, bud. So always remember, when it comes to something like that, that thing weighs, how much did you say that front end weighs? Oh, a good 400 pounds. No. Huh. I'm thinking about maybe 180. Oh. 175. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that. But the, but the pulling power on it is probably four to six hundred pounds. And another thing is, the lower that you go down toward the bottom of it here, the harder, like if we had that thing up here, see, uh -huh. it would pull real easy. But when you come down here, you can't even lift it up. So we're going to get right in the middle right there. And hopefully, these 200 pounders, we're going to have two 200 pound pullers are going to be able to open and shut this thing. Because if it doesn't, we're gonna have to tie a rope here, and from inside the car, he's just gonna have to help the actuator. He's gonna have to do the Flintstone style. We'll just have to drill a hole with a little rope in it. <laughs> yeah. Old Ed, Ed's body shop, bud. Right? Yeah. Out in Shreveport, Cajun Ed. We can't do it, we're just sending it. Uh, we can't figure it out, it's going to Cajun Ed's shop. Ed's shop. All right, you ready to get this done? Ready.